Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Ireland. Teeling Cherry Wood, one of 288 bottles. This is part of their Wonders of Wood, a 15 year old 57.2, I can't read my own writing. 57.1% um, interesting thing here. So you can look at the label real quick. So 15 year old cherry wood 57 and also the WOW, which means here basically one thing, wonders of wood. So what do we have here? Basically we have a experimental series from Teeling. So Alex um, Kashko, he is the master blender. I think his master of maturation is Ian. And um, he actually somehow got his hands on some very, very unique casks. What they did is they did an online tasting, what you have to do nowadays, at least at the moment, with our COVID problems, and they had the winner, which was this bottle here, the Teeling Amburana Wonder of Wood with 56.9%. Now this, um, with 57.1%, whiskey base number 172, um, 376, is a little bit different. Why? This is carrot cake in a glass in the smell. I really love the smell of this whiskey. Yummy. Carrot cake. Wham. This is not carrot cake. This is weird. This is interesting. It's unique and I kind of like it. Take a um, red breast 12 year old castrant. I'm getting, I'm getting pot still spice. There is no pot still in here according to what I know. It says on the label single malt, so it's not single pot still. Take cast strength 12 single cask from red breast and pour, um, I don't know, a little bit of concentrated red currant juice into it. And that's basically what I'm trying to get here. And um, put it, uh, put a couple staves in it from type of wood, whatever you want. It's a very woody type of berry type of pot sill funk here. I like, I really do like. 125 euros is a lot. This other one was also 125 euros. Thank you very much, my YouTube viewer. He wrote, I don't know if you want to be named or not, but he wrote Jason on a commentary. Um, Jason, there's a new Wonders of Wood out. No press release yet. Cherry Wood, 125 euros. I would love to see a video about it. So I immediately clicked on it. I think he wrote it in the evening or the night. I came in the morning, read the review, replied. I went, hey, good idea. Boom, bought the bottle. Um, what was very, very amazing as well as they sent it off with DHL Express. Within 48 hours from Dublin to my home in Germany, it was there less than 48 hours. I was really, really amazed at how quick they were doing that, especially since Brexit. Jason, Dublin's not part of Ireland, uh, not part of the U UK. Yes, but the problem is much of the, of the mail back then used to go over the UK to come to Germany. And now they actually have a different little way to get here to France and then from there out, on out. They probably airmailed it, who knows. All right, so um, whiskey base, as I said, 172376, and we know that it's cask number 21963. <coughs> I have no idea where they're getting these casks. I do know that Method of Madness down there at Middleton actually have had a wild cherry wood. Um, it was a finish. This is also finished. No, the 15-year-olds were not spent entirely in a cherry cask. How long the finish was, we don't know. At least I don't know. Um, I do know that um, this has a beautiful nose, but as soon as I try it, it gets all um, a, 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 a astringency. It's all sawdust for me. I'm not a big fan of this whiskey from the taste. Sorry. Now over here, I spent at least in my German video about 10 minutes trying to dissect this whiskey, trying to understand what this is. Now my um, strategy for whiskey tastings is I open the bottle, I do a German video, and I just push the button and stay seated and do the English uh, video. Therefore, the English video is a lot more concise than the German video because in the German video, sometimes I'm kind of sweeping back and forth trying to figure things out. Basically, I know what I'm tasting more or less now in my English video, which means shorter, concise, more exact. This is still not a neck, but this is a neck pour, all right? So I do those. That's what I, this is my first impressions of a bottle and I like this. 
I like this a lot. Now, some of you would kind of think, hey, if there was an online tasting with, I don't know, five or six of these different type of wood finishes, wouldn't it have been cheaper for you to just do that instead of buy the bottles? Well, yes. But number one, I would not have videos to do from this. And number two, I get to share these bottles with people in Germany that were not part of the tasting, and they also get to try this. So everyone's a winner this way that I get to do this. So I'm looking forward to the other wonders of wood. I think that's a great concept. I think it's very, very good. It's a type of me um, method of madness type of experimental series, just like the um, Middleton have with the, their group there. Um, so keep up the good work, Alex. I hope to see different things coming out. And um, even if the group of the aviators or whoever do these tastings with you together do not say it's the greatest, trust your feelings. I'm sure you're going to pick some good stuff, even though it's very unique and very different, such as the cherry wood. I like. Hmm. It's got like two transitions in there. And towards the end, it just blossoms. Like, as I said, like a, a 12 year old um, single pot still from Redbreast with a little bit of a um, red currant juice in there. Mmm. I like <laughs> cinnamon, fruitiness, wood. I like a lot. Let's say I'm going to get a B. Now, um, 288 bottles at the time of this I'm recording, the uh, beginning of February. Yes, there are some of the bottles are still left there. Um, of course, no one's probably coming to the distillery at the moment and doing any tours and taking bottles home with them. And so this is an online exclusive at the moment. It's going to stay like that for a while, unfortunately. Um, but this is something I can really, really recommend. Now, the um, Ambruna actually sold out. I don't think it's available anymore. Um, as I said, smell all day long. Oh, carrot cake. I just love this. This. Almost a little bit of a port moment. Almost like a, like a port um, wine with some red currant juice added here. Um, very difficult for me to pinpoint this. As we know, probably our taste and our, um, our recollect, recollection of our aroma is to do with something we've actually had. So if I say, for example, have you ever had um, Schweinehaxe? That's a German thing. Or Sauerbraten. Or maybe even, um, let's just go for something different. Um, let's talk about um, baked beans. <laughs> now, if you've never had baked beans, you don't know how baked beans taste. And this is our problem, that we can only recollect tastes and smell. We build up this library of these different aromas, and we go back to them. And this has some stuff in there I've never had before. And so this is kind of really challenging me to say, hey, what is this? Oh, this is carrot cake, no problem. Sawdust and so on, the taste. And this is like, oh, I don't know. It's like this plus that, but not yet. And that's something that's really, really fascinating, at least for me. I've tasted over 2,000 different bottles of whiskey. Not a single one of them tastes the same. And sometimes I can actually pinpoint exactly what I'm tasting. Sometimes I hear or read about what someone else says and go, yeah, exactly. And sometimes it's like, I don't know, but I like it. Or I dislike it. Or I don't know. But it's interesting. It's unique. And in this case, it's interesting, unique, and I like it. 57.1%, 125 euros. At least they sent it over to Germany. Um, postage free. I don't know if they'll send it to any place else in the world. So... But I would actually recommend trying the cherry wood. This would have been my favorite of the evening, to be honest. Thank you very much for watching. My question of the day is, besides Method of Madness and also Teeling, who else has done any type of cherry wood um, finishings? Um, Underground. Underground did a black cherry wood, I know, from Chicago. From Chicago. It's up. Is it Chicago? Yeah, I think um, Obama vi visited them back then. He wanted to shun Kentucky and went then instead, instead to the rabbit, a rabbit aging type of place. Shame on him. Politics, who knows? Um, Cleveland. Cleveland, Ohio is where Underground is. Yeah, exactly. Um, he went to Cleveland, Ohio here for a distillery. Mm. All right, so they also did something. Any place else you know that actually have, have used then wild or even cherry wood at all? Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, tell others. Maybe even share this video since I'm very, very keen on this whiskey. And I really like what Teeling is doing with their um, 
I'm going to put it in the um, their Wonders of Wood series. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. Says bye bye. Thank you.